Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mark Essamon and Luke Manvili that was played in the United States in 2011. Mark Essamon had white pieces and he played e4. Luke Manvili played c5, Sicilian defense. d4, pawn takes pawn on d4. What now? Queen takes pawn on d4, knight to f3, mark played c3, sacrificing the pawn, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on c3, and we have smith, mora gambit, knight to c6, knight to f3, e6, bishop to c4, a6, preparing b5, making room for the bishop on b7 and stopping knight to b5. Mark castled kingside, knight from g to e7, bishop to g5, pinning the knight on e7. f6, forcing bishop back, but weakening the pawn structure around black king. Bishop to e3, knight to g6, clearing the path for dark squared bishop. Bishop to b3, b5, and we have reached the critical position of the game. I will not ask you to pause the video. Queen to e2 would be the move you can expect in this position. Another move is knight to d4, and after say bishop to b7, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, and f4. But in our game, we have a knight to d5, knight sacrifice. Black capture the knight. Pawn takes pawn, attacking the knight on c6, knight from c to e5. Black is a piece up. But behind the development, additionally, black king is not safe at all. Is it worth a piece? What do you think? It is white to move. d6, preventing dark square bishop from developing and cramping black position, cutting black position in half. Bishop to b7, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and now f4. Opening files suits white, who is better developed, and black king is feeling very uncomfortable. Queen to f6, pawn takes pawn on e5, queen takes on e5, bishop to g5. What is protecting the bishop on g5 from queen? Should black capture the bishop or play something else? Would you capture the bishop? In the game, Luke played bishop to e7. This doesn't look good for black, does it? Let's take it back. Let's have a look. What would happen if queen takes on g5? We would have this continuation then. Queen to e1 check. If king goes to d8, then queen to a5 check. And if king goes to c8, we have checkmate on c7. What then if king goes to e8? Is that better? Not really. Bishop to f7 is checkmate. Well, let's take it back. Then after check, what about bishop to e7? Is that better? Then we would have this continuation. Bishop to f7 check. 
and after king to f8, bishop takes knight, discover check, king to g8, check again, king to f8, pawn takes bishop, check, and after queen takes pawn, perhaps bishop to h5, discover check, after queen to f6, perhaps queen to b4 row. You can chop the queen immediately. That is why black didn't capture the bishop. Bishop to e7 was played. Bishop to f7 check. King to d8. Pawn takes bishop check. Knight takes on e7. Queen to d2. Defending the bishop on g5 connecting rooks and also possibly planning queen to a5 check. King to c8, rook from a to c1, knight to c6, rook from f to d1, threat is queen takes pawn on d7, queen to f5, defending the pawn on d7, and attacking the bishop on f7. Bishop to f4, sacrificing the bishop on f7. Queen takes bishop. Why did white sacrifice the bishop on f7? What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Would you play this? Threat is queen to c7 checkmate. King to d8 was played. It is a white to move. What would you play now? Mark captured knight on c6 with rook. Bishop takes rook. It is white to move. White play the move and black resigned. What would you do? if you had white pieces. Queen takes bishop on c6 and black resigned. Rook is under attack. Well, let's try a few continuations. Perhaps rook to c8, then bishop to g5, and after king to e8, queen takes rook, checkmate. What else then? What about rook to b8? Is that better? Not really. Check. And after king to e8, queen takes rook. And after king to e7, you can go for checkmate or perhaps chopping the rook. And just one more continuation. What about Queen to f5, is that better? Then queen takes rook, check. And after king to e7, queen takes rook, queen takes bishop, queen takes pawn on g7, check. And we can stop here. And let's go back to move 11. In this position, black was already a pawn up. And on top of this, white sacrificed the knight. What a brilliant move. What do you think of this move? And what do you think of this game? Would you sacrifice the knight like this for the attack? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.